the, the uh, three registered speakers uh, that I had um, for the first group, which was uh, Shemi, Galinda and Petra, please. If you'd like to come forward, it would be very helpful. Okay. Thank you. Um, are you happy to go in that order? Shemi, are you happy to uh, kick off? That's great. And if I could remind you, we're, there's lots of people. I'm going to be tough on Cabinet as well in terms of their contributions. Um, and so if you could keep it to two minutes, that would be much appreciated. Thank you. She Shemi. Well, I speak as uh, uh, the chair of the TRA in Westbury. Um, the chair. Sorry. Uh, I speak as the chair of the TRA on Westbury. I'm the serving vice, co-vice chair of the Lambeth Leaseholders Association and uh, interim chair of the Leaseholders Association as well as the chair of Clapham Leaseholders Association. Um, given that our chair, uh, Stephen Guide, um, resigned publicly, uh, citing allegations of bullying and intimidation by specific uh, councillors. Excuse and me, Shemi. Um, I think if you're going to make those kind of allegations, we actually uh, need to respond to them. And I'd rather... N no, no, I am, letting, I am letting him speak, but I don't, I don't... Excuse me, I don't think we can leave those to set as they are, so I'm going to ask Alison to respond to those. I'm not going to take that off your two minutes, but I would like you to... I think you've made the point that you represent lots of organisations, so if you can then get to the point around key guarantees, that would be helpful. Chair, I, I completely understand that, and I make those comments very advisedly, and they're intended. Right. So for the last two years, yeah, for the last two years, we have... Uh, right, just to respond to that, um, uh, allegations were made, they've been investigated and no finding of any bullying or intimidation has been found um, by myself and um, so as far as the, uh, that, that, is a, you know, that was a final finding and uh, so as it stands there are no, there are no outstanding allegations. Um, we can uh, get to the rest of your contribution. Right. Thank you. So for the last two years, we have informed the council at the very highest levels, as you know, through my emails, of the consequential human rights violations uh, as a result of the estate demolition program, um, which is supervised by Sue Foster and spearheaded by Neil Vox and Julian Hart. The Secretary of State, uh, Sajid Javid, has uh, stated and ruled that a similar project in Southwark uh, whole, uh, wholesale violates the human rights of existing uh, residents, especially the, uh, the elderly, uh, children, and disproportionately minorities who will uh, suffer as a result of the dislocation from the community, um, the, the detriment to the education of children, um, the lack of the loss of uh, support uh, from the, their support network, etc., etc. And I would say that those issues are conspicuously identical to the issues in Lambeth, especially given that the uh, almost 60 percent of Lambeth is minority and has a lot of social, historic, and social economic problems. There's nothing in these key guarantees that appears to address those issues. On or around October 2016, I personally spoke to Sue Foster about this. I followed it up with an email. Um, on or around the 17th of March last week, I followed it up an email. I included you, meaning the, uh, the council leader. Um, she responded by referring me to Neil Vox. I responded that it's her responsibility. As I speak, there appears to be no indication of addressing those issues. Um, going to the specific issues um, in, in the key guarantee... I am going to ask you to be quite brief yes. now, thank you, because otherwise people, other people won't be able to contribute. Yes. Um, as far as the... Uh, uh, there's, there's no disclosure of the financial agreements with the developers. There are serious concerns about the governance of Homes for Lambeth, given that Mr. Matthew Bennett uh, appears to suggest that he will be the uh, chairman, which clearly may indicate a conflict of interest. Um, it is misleading to say that uh, Homes for Lambeth will be 
100% owned by Lambda, given that there were three subsidiaries, which A, include uh, both development and investment, which brings into question uh, of uh, how do you mitigate market failure and how are you going to supervise uh, financial issues. Um, so I'll be very brief. My colleagues are going to jump in here. I'll close by saying this. Uh, I would like the record to show that over the last two and a half years, the residents of Lambeth have been at the receiving end of severe emotional distress as a result of this. No family or human being should be put through this. The record will show that Lambeth, as we speak, as evidenced by Runnymede report, is the most socially and racially unequal borough. The activities of this program undoubtedly add to that. Um, a large section of this Lambeth diverse fam family is the perception we have is of being systematically being dehumanized, displaced, disenfranchised, and exploited by what appears to be a toxic combination of documented incompetence, indifference, impunity, and self-interested predatory developers or practices. Thank you. Thank you, Shannon. Thank you.